Probablement une centaine, sûrement. Probably a hundred, for sure. It spread pretty quickly. I even read that it might have started just from one seed, maybe. That's a lot of tomato plants. The greenery behind me looks like ordinary bushes, but it's actually tomato plants growing along the St. Lawrence River near Longueuil on Montreal's South Shore. Dozens of meters normally underwater are now covered in green tomatoes, likely a result of unusual low water levels. I feel that this is a climate change scenario. According to Singh, the recent drought in the St. Lawrence River is one factor contributing to this unusual phenomenon, which could become more frequent in the future. When there are change in climate, right, and weather conditions, there are some physiological dis disorders happens. And it is happening now quite often in many uh, crops as well, not only in tomato, but also in pepper or in, in you know, in squash or, and also in the crops, for example, cereal crops, on which I am working a lot, especially for this reason. Mais j'étais au courant, mais je savais pas que c'était ici. I didn't know it was here. I knew there were green tomatoes growing where the river water had receded. But yes, it's surprising. I find it really interesting to see, but it's not a good sign. Because the river level, it's rare to see it like this. All the ducks are on dry land now when you walk around. The ducks aren't even in the water anymore. Since tomato seeds can easily survive digestion, it's unclear whether their presence is the result of contaminated water, animal activity, or human intervention. That's sure that somehow the seeds are reached there, either through squirrels, birds, or maybe someone throws something there, or you know, seeds are there. But we don't need many seeds to make many, many plants. I would not take the chance to heat it. The contaminated water is, is not inside the fruit. All the other things are in, in there. Uh, they, are, they are nice and good enough, and I, I don't think there will be any, any issue. In Longueuil, Joanie Bouffard, City News.